Good afternoon. Uh, today I'm going to talk about relationships between precipitation over eastern South America and the South Atlantic Sea surface temperature. I'll start by uh -oh, <laughs> introducing the South Atlantic Convergence Zone. So during summer, due to some convergence in the atmospheric circulation, we see the presence of this band of cloudiness and heavy rainfall, and we call South Atlantic Convergence Zone. And it's in fact you know, human health, uh, uh, hydropower generation, even global food security. And I'm going to relate this to this other phenomenon called the South Atlantic Dipole. It's a couple phenomenon, meaning that the atmosphere and the ocean interact. And it starts with an intensification of the circulation in the atmosphere that generates a dipole in the sea surface temperature. And we observe that this this phenomenon is related to the increase of precipitation over eastern South America. In the opposite phase, it's a, a, the circulation in the atmosphere weakens, and we see the opposite current in the in the sea surface temperature associated with the dry conditions. So, for my PhD, I, I wanted to understand what are the mechanisms in this relationship. So, therefore, this talk is about sad events. <laughs> I use a, a multivariate analysis called singular value decomposition to characterize this set. Uh, and I use sea surface temperature to, uh, as a measurement of the ocean and sea level pressure as a measurement of the atmosphere. And you see the analysis gives me a dipole for the ocean and a monopole for the sea level pressure. And it also gives me an index, a time index, where I could select events when the set is strongly positive or strongly negative. And also, I select events when the El Nino is in a neutral condition because I wanted to isolate the, the role of the Atlantic in this process. So here I present some averages. Um, in the top, we see precipitation anomalies for, for, for both phases. In the middle here, we have uh, the formation of low pressure systems. And in the bottom is the path of these low pressure systems. So our conclusions are that SAD modulates the, the position of these low pressure systems. So in one phase, they, re, they are formed further north, or they reach further north and, and move along the SACZ region, and therefore increasing precipitation. In the other phase, they are much more confined to lower, uh, higher latitudes, so they don't bring as much precipitation. Thank you.